That's it, Roach. Hey there. That's it, Roach. I have three goblets, none of which are suitable to show myself in. To be born in Toussaint is to be born under a lucky star. The beast, you a spy, tell the commander, be spry! Ooh. Is this what booming means? Cognac selling like fresh buns on the morn, pleased customers streaming about. Fathers desire that we work together. Do you see the wisdom of it now? Yes. Papa knew. Papa knew this would work. Father would be mighty proud. Ah, oh, Witcher, greetings. What brings you here? See you made up with your brothers. Looks like business is good. All true, all true. I cannot complain. We'd been rivals all our lives. So at first it was hard to agree on anything. Yet gradually, we realized we had no other options. Suddenly, it turned out we work well together. Nice to hear. <laughs> and we've you to thank for it. Had we not met you, nothing would have come of our quarrels but heartache. Thank you, Witcher. Glad I could help. Wouldn't mind a drink? Some good wine or cognac? Be my guest. Pick and choose as you will. Time I was on my way. Farewell. Who 
whose notion of order is this? Why doesn't someone do something? What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the Ducal Guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Ah! Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! As if another bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. How much will I get for this? How much would you like? Agreed. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to, though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. and growl. At your service. Can't hear anything, but might want to look around anyway. Strength's gone. and hungry. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much.
few drops of wine. And lo and behold, I see better. The walk is terrifying at times. That is. Can't know for sure, though. Need to wait till after dusk to confirm.
hiding. Noise is coming from the catacombs, it seems. So, noise is coming from here. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Louis de Quarantin died on the day of Saint Zoethem's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. None worth their salt would have left this. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. Hmm. Something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. I'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some, some dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrid, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And... Who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My families. The Decorantans. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. 
Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! it all. Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! No, wait. If you truly must do this, then please, at the least, deposit me somewhere pleasant. All the same to me. Where do you want to go? Take me to my mother's grave. It's in the old cemetery just outside the city walls. A lovely spot, almost on the lakeshore. The flora there, it's extraordinary, really. Hmm, extraordinary flora. Where is it exactly? Beneath the outspread arms of a chestnut. The tombstone bears my mother's name. Micheline Belros. To think I failed to heed her when she warned me about that lout. the urn with Margot's ashes, just like you wanted. Louis, you there? 
Should have known he'd stand me up. All right, if that's how you want to play it. Please, put me back. Yes, I'm a fraud. I lied to you. I've no notion where the cards are, but, but I, I shall think of something. Just wait. Got it. A swordsmith. Trent has the name. I skinned him at Gwent once, but he had no coin, so he promised me the pride of his collection, a lovely blade. Finely fashioned. I passed on before I could get it, but you could collect it in my stead. Just tell him Louis de Corentin sent you. The dead Louis de Corentin? Hmm, hmm, that could indeed prove problematic. But if... I know. The man's a gambler, inveterate. His wife forced him to seek help, a hypnosis or some such. She believes Trentin no longer touches cards, would wager her virtue on it. Were she to learn he still plays Gwent, well, he'd be in a deep doodle Hmm, thanks. Here to collect Louis de Quarantin's sword. Ha! <laughs> That's rich. De Quarantin's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah, oh, the bum poke. Ugh. Here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again, with Louis gnawing radishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? What about the wife? Not afraid she'll... In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Belhaven. So, shall we play? All right. Convinced me. Lay him out.
Bumpus, that happens to the best. It serves me right for challenging a stranger to have such a deck. Ah. So long. Oh, look! A witcher graces my humble forge. Show me what you have. Farewell. No, see you later. Greetings. What brings you here? Time I was on my way. Farewell. Hey there. I'm done. The cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah. To sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered polecats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here, for your trouble. Thanks. Look at that, just look. Aim to hop on a horse after making merry. Consider it. 